next guest is known as the four-year-old superhero from Birmingham, Alabama, uh, whose superpower is feeding the homeless. Uh, he's on a mission to change the world one sandwich at a time. Take a look at his story. This is four-year-old Austin P. Ryan, seen as a local superhero who's trying to change the world and people one sandwich at a time. Would you like a sandwich? <laughs> tell you something. That's the fastest I've ever seen anybody come around the corner. Inspired by legendary painter Bob Ross, uh, Noah Snow spends every day working hard on his craft and produces some really special pieces of art. Take a look at these. That's pretty good. Joining us uh, from New York, uh, hey, Noah. Hey, Noah, uh, it, it looks like you're pretty busy. What are you doing there? Uh, I'm painting like you do every day. Guess I was supposed to know that. Okay. <laughs> do you, uh, what, what's your goal in life, Noah? Tell my painting and make lots of money. Yeah. Yeah. Make a lot of money. I hear you've already started selling your art online. Yes, would you like to buy one, Mr. Harvey? I'll give you a good price. <laughs> At the age of eight, uh, he's already a published author with the best-selling book on Amazon. Uh, <laughs> his book is called Kayla and Kyle, The Walking Dictionaries, Election Day. And it was also recently accepted into the Library of Congress. Wow. Everybody, please welcome Nicholas Buwama. Hey, Nicholas, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? Wonderful. I've never talked to an eight-year-old intellectual before, so... <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull myself together, because I've been a 62-year-old fool for... <laughs> a lot of years now. Tell me a little bit, you know, about your book. What is it about? My book is about helping kids expand their vocabularies, and Kayla and Kyle are having an election, and th uh, throughout the way, Kayla and Kyle are using big words. Kayla and Kyle, who is... Oh, they the dictionaries. Oh, they the two books. You mean the two characters? Oh, the two, yeah, the two characters. That's what I was trying to... <laughs> yeah, the two characters that I thought was books, but obviously, since I ain't read a lot of them, how would I know what a book looked like? <laughs> have, have you ever talked to an adult that didn't uh, know what you was talking about? Plenty of times. You, you don't know what it feels like to be a grown man and be talking to a child and and you don't know how to talk to him because oh, uh, you uh, sc scared he might say something with a big word in you. You don't know what it is. Can I do it right now? Yeah, go ahead. Let me try it. Let okay, me... exacerbate. Exas ex what? Exacerbate. <laughs> exacerbate? Well, just take one guess of what it means. <laughs> I'll tell you what it means. It means to make a situation worse. Yeah, that's what it'll do. <laughs> I want you to meet 11-year-old Yoris Hutchinson. Now, he's got a passion for cheetahs. Now, since he was six years old, he's been working to protect the big cats from extinction. And so far, this young man's made a significant impact on preserving the cheetah population. He has raised, get this, more than $20,000 to save cheetahs. <laughs> Yoris, what's up, my man? How you feeling? Good. That's good, good, good. Hey, man, where did this passion for cheetahs come from? Uh, they've been my favorite animal since I was two years old. And when I was six, I uh, was reading a book about them, and it said that they might go extinct in my lifetime. 
um, and being sick. So I didn't know what that meant. So I asked my mom and when she told me, I got really sad. So I asked, well, what can we do to help? How does the money you donate help the cheetahs? We donated it all to Nankuse, the wildlife sanctuary in Namibia, and they mostly use it to buy camera traps and GPS collars. The GPS collars send out signals of where the animal is at every hour or so, and every morning Nankuse sends that information to the farmer, and the camera traps help um, document the cheetahs and where they are in the area. I got to tell you what, man. What you're doing is absolutely great, Yoris.